Tampa, Florida, an area with a distinctive look, at least downtown. But around the Bay Area, diversity flows. From blue skies above harbors, to sweeping green landscapes, to wildlife, it's a filmmaker's dream. We have numerous features that are lining up to come to the Tampa Bay Area. We're a, essentially a blank slate. Whatever we want to make Tampa look like, we can make it look like. And that is a great value to just about any production. It would seem to make sense that the diversity of the Tampa Bay Area would attract most filmmakers. But Martin Olich points out that the industry is highly incentivized. And if the Florida legislature refuses to back higher incentive proposals, it could be a challenging road ahead. We do have a bill written and we have sponsors, uh, both in the House and the Senate. Uh, it's really just going to come down to whether or not the, uh, the Senate in particular um, makes us a priority to push. If not, it might get put to the back burner, in which case it just won't be looked at or, or really seriously taken. The tax incentives need to be comparable to that of Georgia's, to that of North Carolina's, these places outside of California, these places where film is booming. You just got to go, what, four hours north and you're in a state with, with more tax incentives. What can we offer? What kind of amenities can we give as a community that might attract a production here? Maybe that's lower hotel rates. Any little thing that we can do to help attract and make our community look um, more financially attractive to a, a production, we'd have to focus on. So if I am a feature film and I'm time sensitive, and I need sunshine, I need blue skies, where are you gonna come? In Tampa, Eric Staub for the Digital Bullpen.